And I feel like if you're going to pick a story from a person's life, if you're going to tell my story, if one day a person tells my story, please pick one aspect of my life. I have... Th- like I said, we are popping corn while sitting down. We are talking poppy nongen. I was having problems with the name yesterday. Have you seen Yeah. <laughs> the thing is, I, 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 I'm used to. It just feels like that name was made up. G. <laughs> I think I'm a bad person, but let's see. It's fine. So the film, what 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 I feel like the film is about is about a um, a Kosa lady who speaks Afrikaans. I went back I went back and watched and, and checked did more research and understood the story because I didn't understand why a black person was talking Africans. Then I found out that the lady was talking Africans in real life. So that was reality. So she spoke Africans only and only Kosa there and there. So that's why she was speaking Africans there. So I'm sorry for feeling like that. But it was a story about a Kosa woman who spoke Africans and were going about her life in the apartheid era. So there were many things happening. It was sad and <clears throat> heartbreaking. Although I lost a lot of moments where I felt like they would have spoken Kosa or spoken in Venekmo, but it was it was heartbreaking. I felt like I was hating black white people a lot in <laughs> all the over film. again. <laughs> all over again. So I, I don't know if that was the point, but that's how I was feeling. So let me not talk too much. Who's the African dia? Who wants to say something about the film? How, what do you love about the film? I mean, it could, it How do you feel been, about like, it? Like looking at the fact that at that time, yeah, many people can have a question about why did she speak Africans throughout? Yes, you know, and she was pro about it. You know, yeah, you know, it's it's not like you know it's something like uh, she was not forced. It no, didn't no, feel no, like no. it was forced. Yeah, but at the same time, I, I don't know the full story. Probably you know he grew up around Afrikaners. Yes, you know because what we find in the story is that um, she's actually uh, due to the past laws at the time. So uh, she she she's she's titled an immigrant in her own country because at the time when there were these removals and yeah, so yeah. forth, you know the trans guy was. Um, Considered an independent. Oh know, yes, yes, yes. You know, from the Transvaal and the cis guy and so forth. And so, and she had to be. So her pass um, expires, and she has to be taken to, to Trans guy. She's told to she has to go land. to a homeland in the Trans guy, and she's never been there. She doesn't have a family there, you know, and. She, that makes an immigrant in her own country because at the time now the trans guy was considered not being part of South Africa. Yes, yes. So yeah, that's the interesting part. Uh, one thing that got me personally um, confused uh, in terms of the story is the fact that they kept on mentioning my mother's name. In this oh, movie. okay. And <laughs> like the that. place for Pinongiana is supposed to go to, oh, the homeland she's been sent to is actually my mother's. Uh, oh, it's homeland. Oh, nice. So I sat there. I was like, okay. Can we go? Where is this story going right now? Are we Why? Going? They, I thought maybe there was some. When I first heard it, I thought maybe some subtitling oh. error. Because uh, I think the old man says, that the guy. Oh, yeah, guy. But then when they write it, they write it the same way my mother's name is written, which is Maku. <laughs> and they kept on mentioning the name. And towards the end, uh, there's a scene where these cops come and they want an address yes, of the yes. homeland. And I thought you'd mention it so that I can get uh, You can hear like if it's nearby. Is my mother involved in this story <laughs> somehow? <laughs> like, oh. Did you want royalties to? And, and then, then, then <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Bro, hey, hey, wait. So she papers. doesn't mention get it. Get the paper. She doesn't, actually, what happens, I thought she'll actually say it. Mm-hmm. Uh, but she actually did the hand her book and she writes it down. They don't even and show don't us even that address. We don't even know what ad- ad- that address is. Then I was like, I, for me, for Pinongana was um, it, it 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 served its purpose. Yes, you know, um, to to tell a black female story. Yeah, you know, um, in a time where females were segregated, um, well, in a time where black people were segregated in general, but f- the females felt more of the pinch, you know, because they were segregated by the government itself. Yes. And then they were segregated by their husbands, you oh, know, yes, by the yes. community. Because you can see, for instance, when the men come to report the pregnancy, um, they they intentionally try to exclude Poppy out of the conversation. Yes. But she insists 
that she becomes part of the conversation. So those themes, um, the theme of feminism, you know, yes. spoke to me um, very, very well. I, I quite, you know, um, resonated with that theme. And I think one thing that I took away from the film was the color palette. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. I think the Beautiful. color palette for me, I was I was sitting there and I was like, nice, nice, okay. That's right there. From eight to you that, know, that, yeah, I think the color palette, yeah, the know. color palette. They even got it with the uh, behind the scenes uh, clips that they have. Oh, yes, you know, yes. You can see that this was pre planned. Yeah, it was intentional. The treatment with the palette, mm. it was just amazing. It was intentional. It was intentional. It was intentional. Wow. You, could, you could see that the, you know, the, the, the colors that they used, they used them to reflect. Poppy's internal character, mm. you know, who is a kind person, a strong person, a resilient person, and bring it outside, you know, with the color blue. And at some stage, there's where the 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 the, the young ones are arguing with the old ones. Oh yes, you know, yes. uh, you know about issues of democracy and freedom, and you can clearly see the color lines being drawn, you know, between the young ones and the old ones, and you can see the line in the cinematography. Okay, you know, and here's like the thing. You know, you're talking to audiences, right? It's like at the moment, it feels like a film talk. <laughs> <laughs> What's the palette? Like, my people are like, why is he talking about color palette? Is he talking about makeup now? What's going on? <laughs> what are you saying? Okay, what, what is it tones? When I, when I talk about the color palette, I'm speaking about the color of the clothes. Oh yes. The color of the the color of the of the production design. Oh the yeah. Finish items. I'm speaking about um the grading. So they know. went old okay. school on it. Apart apart from Not them old going school, old school on it. The, the, the it, it was very really thematic. And how it speaks to the theme. Yes. Oh, it was very okay. thematic for me. The 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 look and feel of the film. Of yeah. the film. You know the how the, the costume colors. You know the small items that that were in the fall. Oh so yeah, you, could, you know it, it, it spoke very well. Because that's what I wanted to say as well. I wanted to say there's this squeeze bottle. You remember the ones they like when I was young. They used to put it in a container with your scarf team. It's there. Like I don't know if you're talking about the same thing. The props that are there. Yes. They just take you back to your blackness. Like I just felt like oh. I remember that small thing in in, in, in the family. Yeah. I remember the the the, the lamp, the, yeah. lamp, the paraffin lamp, yeah. and all yeah. these other things, the small items. Yeah. So it was amazing because they reminded me about my childhood. Not that all those things were there, but just small pieces that said yeah. black, 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 yeah, exactly. and the fact that they went. Besides black, the, the period. Is it the know, period as well? The period, you know, oh. but, you know, not necessarily black. I thought it was because I only know that. That's, that's the thing. Okay, here's the thing. I only know black. I've never been white, so that's why. I, <laughs> that's why I remember. Well, all right, advice. Advice. I was just saying. That's why the way I remember. I thought all, no. I thought those were black. Michael people. Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> I thought those were black people things. Can this just a period thing? Okay, keep going. Yeah, black people carry them a lot. You know? Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, you, you'll have those items in production design that will remind you of your grandmother's house. Oh yes. You because know, uh, black people, <laughs> we, we appreciate. You know. Our actually our our home production design, you know, you know yeah. how our grandmothers used to actually decorate the houses. Yes. And those items will actually last for years and years and years and years and years. You know, you grow up older and still have because that, the, because in the house in the, no, on the yeah, yes. 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 you know you still go to you, you still ah, find those point, point, yeah. and then, you know, that you know and, and those buses picture. that they always so lock them the and nobody opens. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> point Ponyana is the twins. Oh, the so, twins. Yeah, so the twins. Now the, I'm the thinking baby about twins. the mother holding Oh, you think the, about the mother, mother and the holding baby? The baby. Oh, that's, another, <laughs> that's another. You remember that one? Like I remembered when I was young, Komukukung uh, Kososha. Mm -hmm. Like you, you know the curtain that divides the bedroom yes, from the. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. the, the thing is, it was just small thing that reminds you of when you were young or some certain period in your life. Yeah. And that was beautiful about that film because of that. Yeah. I just felt like those were amazing. What I feel like. The film did was that it told a black story, but it felt like they were not trying to educate me as a black person. It was for a different audience or an L LSM somewhere. So it was not for me, it was for, I don't want to say white people, but it, it felt like an African, you a were black just person. Not the target yeah, I was not the target audience. It was for white people, right? It's okay. There's yeah. nothing wrong with that. 
Yeah. And it, 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 it worked. I feel like for that audience, it, it worked amazingly. Mm. I loved it, but it got me more angrier. <laughs> Why angry? <laughs> like, the thing is, it just felt like, damn. Every time I felt like the way there are cops coming. Like, I'm, she's going to get arrested. Like, like I don't want to feel like that when I'm watching a film. I don't want to feel like she's being rushed somewhere. Hey, it's late. There's a curfew for a black person. It's so too like, personal. Hey, I, I think it's mainly um, an issue of perspective. Yeah, yeah. You know, um, whether you feel you're the target market or not, whether it's a black story or not, you know, I mean, the story was written by it was uh, uh, a white person. Helena Spring. You know. Oh, yeah. yeah. It was produced by Helena Spring, you know, one of the top producers in the country. Um, you know, oh, she's a producer and scriptwriter. I don't it? know if she wrote it. She oh, you said it. she produced it. Oh, yeah, I it's thought directed you said she wrote, by Christian Oglinen. Okay. Something like Didn't that. Did she do some writing? Well, probably. Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah. I'm not sure oh, about the writing. Wow. You okay? I don't know. There's quite part of the camera. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, I know maybe. there's Helena Spring's name written all over that thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you can see it. Nice. One thing that uh, I would take home with, which I think it was powerful, is having female protagonist story of that time. Yes, which we hardly have as filmmakers. No, it was the first one, not not even the first one. Apart from Winnie Mandela, which was made by the Americans, so you know we can't really claim that. Yeah, same as uh, I wanted to say, what's this from Skin? No, yeah, I think that was, was a Hollywood. That was a Hollywood. It was made, no, it was the British. British. The British. Oh, nice. Yeah, I haven't seen Skin. So I at least we, we 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 have you know a female protagonist of that period. You know. Yes. You know and. Oh yeah, like makers. you're right. I've I never think seen. It's a, it's a very powerful thing. I've never seen any story about the women who were fighting this in the struggle. <laughs> no. I just realized that there were no women fighting the struggle. Yeah, there were no women fighting. <laughs> period. They went home taking care of, of the kids. I think, I think, I, and I think that's the propaganda that the movie is fighting against. Yeah, you know that the women were just the women at home. They were just cooking the food, minding the babies. You know, it is actually that's not the case. It's and actually not. with Bobby, there's a there's a there's a part where uh, in her journey she actually uh, has to go to this some sort of a committee which was led by women. Oh yeah, yeah. Black yeah. Sash. Oh, the Black, Black Sash, yeah. yes. Who are actually helping these so women much with them. their stories with uh, the passes. Past, the they, past laws they, they, and the challenges they had with the whole thing of forced removals and so forth. Yes. You know, so yeah, it, it was empowering women in a way. Yeah, and, and I, 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 for me, when the black sash came in, you know, I thought things were gonna like take a dramatic turn and really, you know, and really because that change, was you that know? was accepted and expected. and you know because I know the history of the black sash and what you know their involvement was in the, you know, in, in the political scape of yeah. the country, you know. So when they were introduced into the story, I was like, ah, oh, oh. you know. Um, but yeah, it was not their story anyway. So, yeah, yeah, the thing is, here's the thing about this story. I love it because it's a beautiful story and it's told it's a true story about a woman who lived back in the days uh there's a like she's a Kosa lady she lived amongst the the bushmen or the african the colored uh, the colored people the colored people yeah. but the the families would the Kosa family would think they are bushmen because they were speaking in afrikaans you understand like based on the story that i read they thought she was playing with bushmen and she was learning their language more than her cousins. So the person who she worked for wrote the story and they put a fictional name. So Popino Ngema is not her real name, but they couldn't put a real name because in the apartheid days, if you told your story, now you became a target. You get it? So it was a real story. It's based on a real story, but it's an adaptation from a book. So that book was from a real story. Oh, wow. yeah. Yes. What I don't understand is they it seems like the adaptation was not done well. They didn't focus on one story. There was the 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 ID one. There was the family one. There was the other uh, kid one. I understand the kids were fighting and the you understand, but I felt like they would they should have they should have focused on one I know you should, guys are gonna are not gonna say this. I feel like they should have <laughs> he, says, he knows we're not gonna You're say not gonna this. talk about it. <laughs> I, I feel like they should have chosen one story, stick to that story, and then let's let's because the ID thing it came, it disappeared. 
The so Amethyst came and disappeared. I beg to differ. I beg to differ. Okay. And um, going back to your opening line of what the film is about, you mentioned that the film is about this woman, a person, person, in, person lady, who speaks African, speaks Africans at that time and about her journey. Yes, yes. In that era, and all those things were happen. You mentioned. Yes. They were happening to her. Yes. So, I, those things are her story. Isn't it yeah. scattered around? Her? Well, in this case, mind you, we're not dealing with the fictional uh, oh, structure or hero's dream. This is a biopic. Yeah. It's based on a real large dog. And it's I about these to events, that took, events that took place around her life at that particular time when she was facing that particular challenge, which her being, having a past that was expired and had to be, you know, oh, yeah, fixed. And, you know, taken out of her space to go into the homeland. Okay. Know? That means, I, okay, here's what is going to happen in my life. I'm going to concentrate more on biopics and understand them. Because the reality is, I had a problem with Long Walk to, to Freedom because of the same thing. I felt like there were too many stories. This one as well. And I feel like if you're going to pick a story from a person's life, if you're going to tell my story, if one day a person tells my story, please pick one aspect of my life. I have... Th- you can't you pick this and on focus on it. You must go watch Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Yo, that's a. That's a there's too many Stop stories. It for another okay, day. it's fine. <laughs> Let's not talk about it. It's fine. So, we talked about Popino Gemma. What I'm gonna say though is that this film will leave you heartbroken. It will leave you. It, it will leave you questioning yourself as a black person and questioning yourself as a white person as well. Like, a white person will look at that and feel like, yo. So if that was to educate white people, I feel like they would hear the message if they watch it. And as a black person, I feel like I got the message. I felt like, okay, things happened. I need to remember those things and find a way to deal with them now. What I'm, what I'm going to do now, let me not talk too much. I feel like you should rate the film. How many popcorns would you give it out of five? Out of, out of, out of, out of five, ten. No, out, out of ten. ten. Yeah. Because it's a female protagonist and we don't see that a lot, right? And it matters you know, because now the trend is bringing the female on the screen and having mm. female heroines, right? With all the killings and all the things we talk about the female. So I think out of ten, just solid based on the beautiful performance from Clementine. From Clementine, I'd mm. say you know I'll give it a good just performance. And picture, <laughs> and you know, I think it deserves a good time. Oh, nice! Oh, woo. nice! Okay. Nice. Yes. Yeah. Who's the Africa? Me. Ten out of ten. Wow. <laughs> I feel like you should look at me. Wow. I feel like you should look at me now. <laughs> what, guys? Ten, um, out ten, ten, ten out of ten. Yeah. For, for me, for me, ten out of ten, and ten out of ten for Kala. 10 out of 10 for the Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The 10 out of 10 for um, uh, the, the, the acting. Yes. I think that we can talk about the script writing during the ad break. It's okay. Yeah, because the, the acting was amazing. Yeah, they were nice. Amazing. Yeah. Except for. Yeah. Okay. yeah. <laughs> Overall, I think I'll give the film 8.5. <laughs> That's an 8. It's not carry over. Yeah. <laughs> And the 1.5 is because I still don't get why my mother's name was mentioned throughout. <laughs> Homeland, place of birth, was mentioned so much in the poem, and I didn't get why. And the clothes, the mark way. For me, I love, I love that they they chose a black story for an African uh, African film. That's a new thing. That's beautiful. For that, I'm t- I'm, I'm giving five, and then I'm gonna add another point for the fact that. They, they put in some Tosa in it. They didn't do it like uh, Africans all the way. So since they said some Tosa in it, another one. Some Tosa. They told an apartheid story that felt heartbreaking and I felt dragged into it. So I'm going to give it another one. We are at eight now. We're going to look for the other two. I'm trying to find the other two, you know. 
for more concert. I don't know, Joe. For more concert. Must go watch no, it again. No, I, I think I, I need to watch. Yeah, he's right. What I need to like watch it again because I'm, 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 I'm lost a bit because I feel like you need one story. Like I said, if you tell my story, remember, tell one. Whether I'm dead or whatever, I don't play that game. I'm gonna book up for you. <laughs> It's fine. Go watch the film. Go get your popcorn. Go to Steak and Nicole and watch the film. So I recommend it and I put it like that. Let's go watch the film.